The aim of RACE is to examine the effects of a new emerging infectious disease in European amphibian populations. We have identified a chytrid fungus which is spreading aggressively from other parts of the world and is causing catastrophic declines in some European amphibian populations. The disease was first detected in Spain, north of Madrid. Now we are studying it in Switzerland, in England and in France. In the Pyrenees, Dr. Dirk Schmeller and his collaborants at Mulis are working on mountain populations of amphibians to study the effects of the pathogen. Hello, bonjour, guten tag, I'm Dirk Schmeller. I'm researcher for the CNRS here in Mulis and part of the RACE project which is financed by Biodiversa. I will explain you a little bit about chytridiomycosis, an amphibian disease, and its impact on the amphibian diversity in Europe. So um, he will take uh, now a sample from uh, from the skin, kind of. By uh, scratching over the skin, he will uh, uh, detect, uh, or he will get all of the zoo spores uh, into the small um, cotton. And uh, afterwards we, we close the swap and it's a tri-swap, so there's nothing to add. Uh, the DNA will stay uh, fine with this kind of swap for um, six to nine months. Well, the race is not uh, running for a long time, it's one year now. So it started at the 1st of March 2009, uh, officially. So that's when the Biodiversa funding was available to the different partners. And uh, since then, we, we have done uh, monitoring of all the populations of Alides in our in, in environment, in our closer region. Uh, we have done the analysis of uh, over uh, roughly 4,000 uh, samples. Um, only in the Pyrenees, so uh, there's plenty of more coming in from other parts which we uh, analyze in addition. So here we are in the animal housing place which has been financed entirely by the Biodiversa project and um, we wish to investigate the impact of the disease, of the chytrid disease, um, not only if the disease kills individuals, but also if the disease can um, prevent uh, animals to breed properly or breed as well as, as if they would not be sick. The race people in general, uh, we are always out in the field during uh, spring, summer, and early early autumn as we are always a, a, a couple of a, a small group of four to five uh, doing some strange rituals around uh, ponds it's of course interesting for people to ask us what are we doing and we always use this opportunity to explain to people uh, what we do why we do it what chytridia mycosis is and why our work is really important so for the moment uh, RACE focuses uh, the sampling efforts, or the monitoring efforts on amphibians in the countries of the different partners. Which means uh, there is a major focus in France, because uh, here we detected Chytridia mycosis in the Pyrenees, detected by Jaime Bosch and, and Matthew Fisher. Uh, there's a lot of work going on in Spain, uh, there's work going on in, in England, and uh, of course there's also some work in, in Germany. It's definitely very important that we can cover whole, the whole of Europe uh, in the West and in the East. And uh, well, we have first results, we have first patterns. We are still collecting environmental data, data on tourist movement, on uh, fishing and so on, so that we later on can relate the spatial pattern we find in the infection with other parameters. Thanks to Biodiversa, the work of RACE has shown that the pathogen 
has been introduced into Eastern European countries and that it's likely going to cause effects on amphibian biodiversity there. Our wider work is to understand what these disease-driven losses in amphibian biodiversity might have on the wider biodiversity of this region in other animals, in other plants and eventually impacts onto humans.